hello guys good afternoon good day everybody welcome to the Circus group youtube channel today we are going to be working on something i found interesting and that is a public address system so today we are going to be modeling a public address system on solidworks so trying to get something like this on solidworks from the beginning down to the end so first of all what we need to ask ourselves what we need to analyze is how many parts do we have now you can consider this as a part um so we we won't like to open this totally but this is what a part this guy is a part the black inside of it is also a part the handle is a part on its own and opening this guy, this cover is a part, the, inter the internals are also part. So we are going to start part by part to model these on SOLIDWORKS. So let's start from the main part. So what we do is, from this, we we'll see that this shape now is actually a transformer. From this place to this place, it's actually a transformer. And the transformer is made up of a circle. So we we'll make use of the loft command to make use of this so let's start this diameter this diameter is 200 and also the height of this guy is around 300 so, so what we do is this we come to our sketch new sketch sketch so we start sketching from the front end. Let's sketch from this place. So we go this way. Sketch. So we tell them where we want to sketch from front plane. So we make use of a center point circle. So we have the origin already. Go this way. Go this way. Then we dimension it. Give that dimension. 200 okay so what we are going to do is that from this shape we see that there is actually three transformation that we have the first one along this place we have the second one along this place and we have the third one along this place so we measure the height of that transformation and we discover that from the measurement we discover that this transformation occurs at 150 millimeters each so what we are going to do is that we are going to create a plane that will capture for each of these transformations and then what is the diameter of this circle this circle is approximately 90 approximately 90 so why the top one this guy is 82 millimeter so we we'll go this way create exit the sketch so we are done with this sketch so we'll go to features go to reference and we'll click on plane so once we get to plane it asks us it asks for three reference points but in this case we only need just one and then we we'll use distance to so we'll click on the first reference point and it's asking us what is the first reference point we tell it that we need the front plane as the first reference point then we make use of offset distance now for the offset distance we make use of what 150 millimeters then we tell it that we need you can see it already created created there first plane we tell it that we need two of such planes and we say see it's already fully defined say okay so we click on this plane one right click on it and say sketch so space bar to make it perpendicular to us then we draw the second circle so we dimension this so let's dimension this guy. Let's see we dimension it on bridge. Then 
after that we have gotten that second transformation we we'll say we are done with this sketch we go to the third plane plane 2 right click and say sketch on this plane so space bar to make it perpendicular to us then we draw the circle again from the origin so smash dimension is 82.5 millimeters so after getting that so exit the sketch after getting that so we'll go to loft bus so from loft bus we click okay we move this sketch we click on the first sketch tell it loft to this place transform to this and then transform to this now we have this and from what we know we know that this guy okay should be all perpendicular so we now change this guy to give us the shape we are looking for this guy i want it to be like this okay i want it to have a kind of arc yes i have I'm getting what I'm looking for. Let me move this line again. Now it has changed, so let's take it back. Okay, I guess this is okay. This is okay. So, since this is okay, let me shift these guys a little. Okay. So, since this is okay, we say we are okay with the loft. So, this is what we have so giving us what we are looking for so i can decide to like hide the planes hide the plane so what i need now is i need this guy to give me a see-through so let me get the thickness of that material so what is the thickness of the material i come this way and measure that thickness using my vernier caliper I saw that the thickness is about four, four millimeters. So I go to the place, make use of the command, 3D command, 3D feature command shell. So shell, I tell it I want to shell for four millimeters. And I tell it, okay, show me preview. So it shells this way, but I want the two ends to be open. So I tell it open this face and open this other face and I click OK. Now once I do that, I have something like this. So it's now a see-through. So the trumpet part of the of the public address system. So the next thing I need to do is that we notice that there are holes there is a hole here for the boots to attach the system inside and this guy and there is also a slot here that is used to open for the button that opens the cover so we are going to make those ones right now and from what i would suggest i would suggest that it will be even more better for us to like combine this part with this part combine this part with this part so let's just go over that quickly. So creating the O, I will make use of the top lane. Click, right click, say sketch, then space bar perpendicular to view. So what I now need to do is that I know that, so let me create a center line first center line that pass through the center to know that so i'll ask myself what is the distance between the top of this guy the top of this guy and this o so the distance between the top of this guy and the o 
is around 36 to 34. So the distance between this hole and this other hole is 47. So from year to year is 36. From year to year is 47. So what is the size of that hole? The both size is actually 6. So we can make use of 3 to be the diameter of the screw that will pass through the hole. So we go this way. We draw a circle on the top plane. We draw another circle. I think we just need two for now. So I go this way. Click on the two circles since they are for the same purpose. And I tell them that I want both of them to be equal. They better be equal. So equal relation. I go this way also. Tell this line and this line. The center of the two circles that they should be connected with a vertical line. Then I dimension this way. This circle, the dimension of this circle. Okay, I've lost selected that. Smart dimension. So smart dimension, this guy to be four millimeter. Okay. Now we go this way. The distance between the circle, the center of the circle with this the edge of the trumpet section is 36 and distance between the two holes uh, distance between the two holes are 47 millimeters so the next dimension we need to know is the relation what is the distance between this place and this place so for us to get it we just set our Uh, Venia caliper and um, by the time we check that we see 45 so so what we just do is that we tell the solid works that okay we need the center of this guy to this center line now this is just telling us the distance between this guy and the center line but by the time we move it this way it's telling us like this is going to become a mirror so it's now trying to create an imaginary image the distance between the circle and the imaginary image of the circle so we see that is what we want and tell it that we want the two of them should be what 45 millimeters apart now once we do that we see that our circles become what they become fully defined so the next thing we have to do is that we tell it to mirror entity so instead of drawing these two circles on the other side we tell it okay entity to mirror we need these two circles to be mirrored and what is the mirror? We need our center line to be the mirror. Once we have that, we have something this way. So that is the space for the as the space for the holes. So now what we need to do is to bore the hole to bring the holes out. So we go features extruded cut. So let's just say it should cut through all since we are still planning to fix some things so we change the direction so we say okay okay so we have gotten that so what is the next thing to do we want to create to attach the angle of this guy straight to the body of the trumpeting section of the of the public address system so we'll go also to our top lane see sketch on top lane so sketching on top lane allow the top lane to be facing us this way also so we get our center line Go this way. Go this way. They will make use of our center rectangle. Click on that and go this way. So
So let's make sure they handle. So from year to year, we notice that this is not a perfect, it's an irregular shape. So let's try to see if we can get that shape. So from year to year, was actually 68. 68 from year to year was actually 56. So let's make it a rectangle, then we'll cut through. So 68, 68, 56. So 56, 56. 58 okay so the next thing we need to tell it is okay what is the distance between the edge of this guy to where the circle the arm is actually starting we see that that is at 22 so we set that to 22 so from here so here, yeah, 22 millimeters, good, um, but from what we can see, we can see that this guy is out of it, so let's see our measurement again, yes, measurement is not correct, okay, this guy is 69, that's, that is 69, not 58, 69 please. 69 okay it's now covering it so what do we do is what we do next is that we extrude it out extrude boss so we tell it offset for some distance so we tell it to start offsetting from 40 we need that curve shape shape are we getting the curve shape that we are looking for I guess we are getting it okay so let's reduce it more to 36 no 36 please okay so we can see it's forming what we want to form so what height are we going to of truth extruded up to the height of this guy is 40 so we tell it extrude to 40 please so we go this way so once we do that it's called extrude better be okay so we have something this way so what do we do the next thing to do okay looking at this guy we see that it's interfacing so let's edit it again Let's increase our offset to 38 so that this guy can be in. Okay, so, so the next thing to do now is to start cutting it. So make use of our right plane, sketch on the right plane perpendicular to me, to us. So, what do we do? What we do now is we come this way to see what we have here from this height to this height we have 33 so we we'll go focus 
So we'll sketch from here to here. 33. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. So this guy escape. So this guy gives us 33. 33. So this guy should better be on this guy. So then this lunch third place was giving us. 54 so 54 so we have 54 here oh. escape escape 54 so this guy should be approximately 5 so you have something like this. Now let's increase this guy to ten. Okay. Increase this guy to thirty-eight. This is not what we have. So 34 should be better. And we'll increase this one to 58. Okay, I guess this looks like what we have. Okay, so the next thing to do is to cut some of some part of the materials. So we need this place to be cut. Cut, cut, cut. So focus. So sketch from here to here to here. Or we can use the convert entity to do the job. To convert. So the next thing now is to go to extrude cut. Extruded cut. So the software is asking us where should I cut off? Tell it. Select control. Cut off this place. Cut off this place. So I'll tell it in both directions. So true both all both. So we'll go this way. Okay. So we have something this way. So what is the next thing to do? I need this guy to be drafted to give us this thing. So we'll go to draft. So draft is asking us. This is the direction of draft. So the direction of draft should be upward. Direction to pull. Then the face to draft. I need this place to be drafted. And I need this guy to be drafted. So let's say this guy was drafted for 15. Let's see what that will result to. Wow. Did we get what we are looking for? Um, I guess our direction was wrong. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it again. Edit feature. Direction of pool is actually wrong. So tell it. I don't need this face to be the direction of pool. But I need this guy. So let's see. Okay, let's see what we have gotten. Um. So it has done it the other way. So we want it in a specific. Okay. So go this direction. So we we'll swing it. So we we'll go this way. That is good. So that is what we wanted. So let's see.
can see that this guy is now giving us what we actually wanted so we can now go to because of this place these edges are not sharp they are smooth so we we'll go to chamfer go to fillet sorry fillet so fillet all those sharp edges so let's say fillet by two millimeters so i need this place to be filleted fillet 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 this guy this guy so say okay so we have something like this this time so I guess we still have some work to do. Let me edit this guy. Um, edit from surface. Okay. So we have this now. So what we can do, go to this our extrude cut to the circles, tell them that we want to see them. So go to extruded cut, click on that sketch. So flip the direction. So tell it, okay, let's say 40. So for everything there. So let's say the sketch we need is actually done for the code, that's true. So we say, okay. The place for the boots. Good, 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 good. Okay. So now the next thing we need to do is to get ID sketch. Is to get this handle itself. Now, if you look at this handle, we see that the handle is at an angle on the surface at an angle on this surface so what we can do we can make use of we can decide to make use of sweep we can also de decide to make use of extrude so let's try to extrude this shape but the only challenge we are going to be having is getting the radius of all this curvature 
So what we can do is that we can decide to like go with an assumption to create that feature. So we'll go to the white plane, sketch on white plane, tell it to face, we want it to be perpendicular to us. So we'll go this way, get um, a construction line, and we dimension that construction line, the angle between the construction line and this guy should be let's see 60 let's see how 60 looks like 60 is too small it's too small it's too small no so let's see 75 um, 75 too small um, let's see 80 So now what do we do? Pick our line. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. So we have something like that for the undo. So we just add some relation. This guy to this guy should be parallel. Okay. This over is fine because the origin told us that. So this guy and this guy should definitely be parallel. Okay. So we want this guy. So the height from here. To here, okay, to here, it's approximately 96. So let's say 97. So this height from here to here, 97. Okay, 97. So this guy. So what is their thickness? The thickness from here. So here is 42. So from here, so it's my dimension, distance from here to here, 42. 42. No, I don't want that to be driven. So something is wrong there. What do we do? 42. So from here to here. Should be 21 then. From here to here should be 21. Okay. Yes, we have. This year, let's do this guy. So, let me make use of offsets. So, I need 21 to be offset on um, bi directional. I need this guy to go bi directional. So, 21, 21. So I think that's what I need. So, we go this way. Good. So then I join this line with this and this guy with this point. So I increase this dimension from here to here. I need this guy to be 97. Good. So what do I do? I join this. So we join it with an arc. Line for now. 
go. So what do we do next? We complete the so, so what we can now do is to create this groove where the hand will be on. So let's get that dimension. So from here to here is actually 26. Why from here to here was actually 51. So 26, 51. So what we do is that come to this point, zoom this guy. 26 okay so dimension from here to here give me 26 26 right from this point also to this point 51 So let's see this point. Let's see ten. And also ten. So this one now. Uh, let's see that's eight. guy should be parallel. parallel. Wow. Okay. So then what we can now do we can now get our extrude fixtures. So what is the thickness of this guy? The thickness of this guy was 25. So we tell it S2 by 25 and make use of mid-plane. So mid-plane we distribute it into the two planes. So we tell it where we want it, this guy and this guy. So we say okay. So we have something like this as the angle. So what we can now do is to make it curve fitted. Come to this place, shall fillet it. Let's fillet by then and fillet this other side by ten. have something this way so this place I want us to fillet them also so fillet these edges also so we fillet them so this place let's fillet them by five So with that, we are through with our first section. 
So what we have to do now is to apply the material. Come to the material section. This is white. So tell it all parts should be white. All men something. So let's create. So let's create the O for the the slots. So we go to top plane. Top plane. Sketch space bar vertical to me so i need that slot to be around this place so what is the size of the slot um this is approximately approximately thing height of the slots is five okay Go this way is six so and the distance of the slot from the beginning is around or watch so it's around so from here to here it's around 12 so we go so 12 plus 3 is 15. So we we'll make use of our offset to draw this. So we'll go this way. So let's use center line. Center line 1. Center line 2. So we tell the center line and this guy to be perpendicular. Tell this guy. So we we'll go this way. perpendicular so what we cannot do is we smart dimension this guy to be 10 smart dimension to be 10 from here to here is 15 Okay. Yes. So then, what we we'll now do is that we tell it the height of this. Okay. Offset this guy. We need the offset to be three by three. Offset this, and we tell it to end both cap with an arc. We go this way. Dimension from here to here is actually going to give us 10 wow it has gotten up our center so what do we do we pick a point and place this point here and tell that point click on the point shift on this guy tell both of them to be coincidental so it comes to that point so once we do that the next thing to do is to make a cut a straight cut a straight cut so this guy i want it to cut upward i want it to cut up to surface up to this surface in the other direction so once I got that I go this way so we have something like this so thank you very much for watching this video um, 
there's still other thing here. Yeah, there's still one more thing, sorry. There's still one more thing. There's still one more thing, brother. So what is the one thing needed?